Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jellen. On last Monday's podcast, I talked about a way to ease data entry by pre-selecting the cells. After that podcast aired, I got a great call from a fellow in Georgia with a cool new trick. Let's listen to the call. You have to skip over the first cell, and the first cell that you would enter data into would be the last cell you select using the control key, and then name it, and then when you enter data in, it will follow that path. Whatever you want to do, circle, square, whatever, it'll go to that path. So. Okay, so now that's a really cool trick. Let's try it. The really important thing that, are, that he said at the beginning is you have to skip the first square. So let's say for some reason, every day I wanted to enter data in this particular weird S-shaped section of cells. I'm going to skip the first cell. I'm going to select the second cell and then hold down the control key and in order, select the cells that I would like to enter. So let's say for some reason, I need to enter cells in this particular order, and it really is order dependent. You have to remember which order to select them by, otherwise the trick later um, will go back to this exact same sequence. Now, once I get to the last cell, the most important thing is to select the first cell in the list. Now, go to our name box and say, my data range, hit enter, okay? And then tomorrow we open this worksheet, we go to the name box, select my data range and now I'm going to enter numbers one two three enter one 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 and it's going to remember the sequence and go exactly through that order so now I don't know why you would after have to enter data in an S shape but let's say you had some sort of a form where you were going from cell to cell to cell and you needed it to go in a particular order selecting the named range is a much easier way to go so thanks to, for the call that was a great idea Again, here's another one that I'll make sure to use in my future power seminars and we'll have to include in a book, setting up a named range for your non-contiguous cells. Great idea. Stop by tomorrow for another netcast from Mr. Excel.